I'm Tom Beaumont, I'm the Aggregates Manager at Christchurch Rudimix Concrete and this is our Belfast site. My name's Charlene Donald, I'm team leader for the Extractives team in WorkSafe. My name's Wayne Scott, I'm the Chief Executive of Minix, the Health and Safety Council for the Extractive Sector. We had a contractor uh, contracted in to do a replacement of a walkway on an existing screen box. When they were undertaking the work, they ended up working on a piece of the walkway, but it wasn't slung, so it wasn't supported. The only thing that was holding it in place was a couple of the bolts. One of the bolts which was critical to holding that walkway in place was removed while the contractor was on the walkway. The walkway gave way and fell and the contractor fell with it and fell quite some distance. So this is the scene of the incident. They ended up falling from there and landing just down here beside me. We realised we had to bring WorkSafe in uh, and that's kind of scary when you realise you've got to do that because you wonder what it's going to look like, you wonder if it's going to be, you know, a big stick comes out. And in reality, working with WorkSafe has been really constructive, collaborative and, and educational. WorkSafe's role when there has been an incident is working with the operator. Obviously we are the regulator, but we also provide some expert advice. The value when an incident has occurred of doing a thorough investigation is that you actually have the opportunity to get some key learnings out for the business and also in turn share that back with industry. Some of the key learnings from this incident have been around subcontractor management, risk assessment, the value of worker engagement and I think you know this particular business has really benefited from that. The organisation was a little apprehensive initially, but we have seen similar incidents occur. It's often um, people start to surmise what's happened and don't really uncover the, the root causes of incidents. So we can work with the operator on their journey of working through the um, incident and investigation and help them to uncover the key learnings for that business. For us the immediate thing was that recognition that we just needed to be better at contractor management. We really needed to engage with that safety process when we brought them in to do the work. The second piece which was a bit more detailed was around when we're working through risk assessments we can't do a kind of big picture cover all risk assessment. We really need to drill into what are the specific tasks in the activity that the contractor is going to be doing and what are we going to be doing at each step to control the risks of, of those tasks. Part of it's about recognising that non-engagement is not necessarily disinterest, perhaps having a quiet conversation with them and saying, look, how can we help get this across to you? It's really important that you plan ahead for any task, that you address the, the hazards and, and how you're going to manage those. You know, we've got a form for doing a permit to work uh, in my view, if the guys do that form on the whiteboard and capture all the detail that the form would capture, but it's done on a whiteboard and it's got lots of diagrams, that's fine. You can get a photo of it, you can take a video of the meeting, you can do whatever you need to do to you know, get the documentation part, but like, have a play around, see what else might work. So it's being flexible, it's about applying stuff to your particular work site, to the demographics of your workforce, to listen to them, um, Quite often these, these people know the job better than you do. So generic plans have their merits, but the best plans that I have seen are those that the team have come up with, that have been worked in consultation with workers, they've had input into it, and they know how their site works and what's going to work for their teams. The incident was definitely a bit of a catalyst moment around not necessarily just safety improvement, but like how as a business can we keep making those iterative changes. And now we're here and we're actually in a much better place from a safety perspective, business risk is better, we're more efficient, our staff are happier. You know, it's very rare I think that a safety improvement doesn't have a whole bunch of other wins associated with it.